for the sign of Pisces hello and welcome to my channel so Pisces in the recent past we got the five of swords and it's with the four of wands now the five of swords you could have found that you had some mixed feelings about someone or maybe a few people in particular maybe it was a situation but it was important for you not to ignore your feelings or, yeah, not to ignore how you felt, but to make sure that you didn't speak every word you were thinking and feeling either. And I say this because you could have ruined the very things that you wanted the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. So you needed to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you knew they deserved it. But this Five of Swords, it's about picking your battles. Now, it's clarified with the Four of Wands, which is showing that you could have been attending a special event. It would have been way more fun than you're anticipating. So you went and you would have had a good time. Or that's what you should have done. If you had a business, it was going very well. You were proud of yourself and others were proud of you. Now, although this is a positive card to get into reading, it does show a need to keep your wits about yourself. And although you deserved and should have treated yourself to some fun, but you just know you were still in a building up phase. And it really wasn't the time to rest completely on your laurels. So, when you get the Four of Wands, it can also indicate that you could have moved. Maybe you moved your place of residence. So, Pisces, with these two cards paired together, Five of Swords and Clarified by the Four of Wands, it looks like you were in a, a relationship. Yeah, a lot of you, Pisces, were in a relationship and you were really happy. Because if you see the Four of Wands, the card that's below the word pass, these people, they're looking into each other's eyes. And I don't know if you can see the smiles on, the, on their face, but they're both of them, they're glowing. Just like uh, the light bulbs on a Christmas tree. Yeah, very happy. Four of Wands is, is the marriage and commitment card. So you were in a great relationship. You probably thought it was going to the next level. Marriage, commitment, long term. The both of you. Not just you. I'm just looking at the both of them. The way they look. The way they're looking into each other's eyes. Both of you thought it was going somewhere, but then something happened that made you really mad. With this um, five of swords here, yeah, you started to get mixed feelings about this person. Yeah, but the both of you wanted it to go somewhere. Then something happened. There was conflict and fighting. So you had mixed feelings came upon you. Yeah, so anyway, there was some fighting. I don't know if you two are still together. But maybe let's see what the rest of the reading is saying. Yeah, the two of you thought it was going somewhere. But then something happened, a big blow up. And somebody's really mad there with the Five of Swords. Let's see if we can get more clarity by looking at the rest of the reading. So, let's move on over for now and see what's coming up for the present time. Well, we got the Star card, which is beautiful. And then we got the Two of Wands, which is great. Now, the Star card, you could find yourself feeling rather inspired and you'll be feeling more hopeful about the future than you have in a while you could also feel more confident that your needs are being met whether it's emotional or financial or it could be both they're being met just know that nothing can be taken for granted but it's going to be unlikely that your confidence is misplaced now this is also a spiritual card you could find yourself feeling at one with all the creation it's not a common feeling so you want to make sure you savor it 
star card is with the two of wands. Now, the two of wands, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way you can, even to the mundane, simple, boring things, like, like eating right, getting enough rest. The two of wands, it does indicate a partnership with another person. So, this could be business or personal or both, but it does remind us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So, Pisces with the star card here for the present time and the two of wands clarified by the star card, it's showing that any grief of the past is release. You feel rejuvenated. You're feeling fabulous. You're, you have, you're having a lot of more hope and you got inner clarity now. Whatever happened in the past with this great connection that you had with someone, any grief that you had about that connection, it's gone. You're rejuvenated. You're hopeful. Yeah. So you're believing in miracles or you, you feel like you are a miracle. You've got a lot of faith now. Yeah, and because it's with the two of wands, it looks like you're looking towards the future. And not only that, but you have two options towards the future. You've got two paths. Yeah, because if you see the two of wands, it's a card below the word present. This man, he, he's got a wand on the right side and a wand on the left side. He's tied to one wand. His hand is tied to one wand. And his ankle is tied to the other. Which is, which is um, the direction he's facing. Where the, he's looking in the bird's eye. And he's got his ankle tied to that wand. So you got something in mind. Um, but you realize you got to make a decision. Two of Wands is about make, trying to make a decision. Should you go that direction or should you go in the opposite direction? So you got some options here. So this is good and it's making you feel really rejuvenated. You're no longer having any grief about whatever happened in the past. Because when we talked about the recent past, when you were upset and mad, something didn't work out maybe, the connection that you thought, thought was going to go to the next level. Yeah, you're no longer thinking about that anymore. You're thinking about your future because you got options. Now, keep in mind when we talked about the recent past, that could have been a week ago, a month ago, three months ago or more. But anyway, you're rejuvenated. You're no longer hanging on to the the conflict that you had in the recent past with this person, and you're th you're looking for the, you're looking towards the future. You got a couple of options coming up here, so this is great. Now let's see what the challenge is. We got the Ten of Swords, and we got the Death card. Now the Ten of Swords, it's a sign to be careful about where you put your trust because. When the 10 comes up in relation as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, well, it's a pretty clear answer of no. But try to keep in mind when one door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's much better for you. So you have to trust yourself and trust the universe. 10 of Swords is with the Death card. Now, the Death card, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for our readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will. And such things, they're really not written in stone. They really are not. The death card, it simply indicates transformation, change, definitely a time of deep transformation. Now, this deep transformation, it could be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations, things, people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to, to you in quite the same way as they once were. This transition, it can be difficult for some people. The change, though, is nearly always needed. Now, challenge to Ten of Swords clarified by the Death card. So... There's something, could be a person, 
could be someone new. It could be a situation, or maybe it's the person, same person from the recent past that you once had a lot of love for. You no longer trust this connection. Yeah, you feel defeated. You feel like it's ruined. It's failed. And you don't trust it anymore. So, with the death card here, it's showing you you've lost interest. You've come to a conclusion about it. And it's about finality. So you, you could be ending this with this person that you once had so much love for. Yeah. So you don't trust it anymore. You feel like it's, it's ruined. So that's the challenge. Now let's see what the outcome is. Well, the outcome, we got this Ten of Wands, and it's with the Five of Cups. So the Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a very heavy burden. And I say this because if you look at the picture of the Ten of Wands, you see how this man is walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So you may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load either literally or figuratively because if you look carefully you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying it actually belongs to someone else so it's going to be important for you to pace yourself now and try not to take on too much now we got the five of cups with this ten of wands which reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us so Pisces, you could find yourself asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? Now, the implication will probably be really clear. For example, are you going to cry over spilled milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk you, you have and still get on with things? What I'm trying to say is that you have to make sure you watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. Okay, so the outcome, Ten of Wands and Five of Cups. So there is some disappointment. Like I said, you had a lot of hope in the recent past. You had a lot of hope for connection with someone. But something happened. There was fighting. You let it go. You felt rejuvenated. You realized that you got options. You got other options. But then... Um, something happened, whereas you got some trust issues, could be with the same person from the recent past, or it, this could be someone new coming towards you, or someone that you already know. Something failed, feels like it's ruined, you've lost interest, it feels like a burden now with the Ten of Wands. If it's, just, it's a difficult relationship or the situation is difficult. So you feel like you're carrying a heavy burden. And now you're just trying to focus on this disappointment. Because the Five of Cups is about feeling disappointed. So now you're just trying to choose what you're going to focus on. Are you going to focus on what's still good? Yeah, because it looks like you've got some op great options coming up here. So maybe you're going to choose to focus on your options that you have that we talked about with the Two of Wands. Focus on your options because you're disappointed about some connection or a situation. You feel like it's ruined. It's ending. You've lost interest. So, yeah, it feels like a burden now. Just a difficult relationship. So that's the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you